I'm here at Lawrence University, which is a liberal arts college that also has a music conservatory, and I had the opportunity while I was here to go to a talk given by the dean of the music conservatory here. He's a really interesting guy. He went to Lawrence uh, in the 80s and got a double degree here in trombone performance and English. And then he went on to work for 16 years in Microsoft. He is a great proponent of the liberal arts, but one of the things that I really was interested in is his defense of why a student should major in music. Whether or not they want to be a performer, that there are some really good reasons why a student could and should major in music, even in this day and age of high technology and um, the, the importance of science and mathematics, um, or even business. And so here are some of the things he talked about, and I, I'll refer to my notes. Um, the, the first thing he talked about is that, you know, what employer would not want to have an employee like this, where you meet with them for one hour a week, and you give them a problem, an assignment, something to accomplish, and they go away for an entire week, and they work on their own, and they puzzle it out, they find a solution to the problem, they practice whatever they need to practice in order to make sure that it's right, and then a week later they come back, to the employer and say, got it done, give me my next problem. That's exactly what musicians do when they are going to their private lesson for an hour each week and they're getting information, they are getting an assignment and they complete it. The other thing that he talked about is that music, uh, well industry, the, working play, the workplace today requires people who can collaborate. That's what musicians do on a daily basis. In every ensemble that they are ever in, they are collaborating with one another. Even more so, they are listening to one another. They are building those, those listening skills to be attuned to what other people are saying and communicating so that they can take that information and do something with it. So collaboration, it's not competition. It's about working together with people for a common goal. And any company today needs that skill. The other thing he talked about was that you know, musicians are um, experts at overcoming failure because you practice things, you get something new for the very first time and you're going to fail. You're not going to get it, but you practice, you improve, you learn new techniques to, until you get it right. Finally, he talked about the importance of communication and he talked about while he was at Microsoft that he was going to, he was working with some of the the biggest brains in the world. But, you know, sometimes those, those big ideas that these smart people had, they weren't communicated. That the people who had the ideas weren't necessarily those who were able to communicate them. And what a musician is able to do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis is to perform, to take an idea, to take a message, and be able to communicate it in front of an audience. Whether it's a small audience of a few people that might be in the, in, in the studio, or if, it's, or if it's a big, huge con concert hall. Performance is something that musicians are able to do very, very well. They're not afraid. They may get jitters like everyone else, but they are not afraid of communicating. So I thought this was a, a fantastic defense of why anyone might consider the, liberal, uh, the, the, uh, the arts, and specifically music, as a very viable major in the 21st century.